Hey, Alan Calgill here, and I am so excited to tell you that November 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to be at the Doubletree in Charlotte, and I'd love to have you come. I, it's going to be a dynamite event, but I need to talk to you about uh, something that has been happening uh, for the last couple years. Um, what's happening, not just to myself, but, but other uh, trainers also, is students will say that they're coming to your event, but then they don't show up. Now, on the surface, that might not sound like a big thing. In fact, in giving events since 2004, um, we always have about 18% attrition. And um, that historically has been my number. And that's typical. I mean, the other uh, trainers have, have similar numbers. Uh, what's happened, though, is... Uh, Many students are uh, saying yes, and then they don't show up. Uh, last boot camp I had, 41 folks did not show up. Now, that's painful because we make a lot of plans and efforts. That link on the bottom there, by the way, is how you, how you sign up. So um, uh, what happens is we got empty seats, and that's, that's not good. What we do is we go through a lot of time, effort, to get ready for the events. Uh, in fact, it's an incredible amount. I have uh, people calling up, uh, checking with people about coming. We send out emails and mailings. We'll do a number of mailings and we will create manuals. So we get a head count and uh, just before the boot camp, uh, I'll have a three ring manual or sometimes a spiral man manual uh, with uh, hundreds of pages in them. And uh, can you imagine putting all those together, paying somebody to put those things together, hauling them off to the event. Sometimes we drive, sometimes we fly. And if we uh, fly, we're, uh, uh, we'll have a, a truck. We'll hire a truck to, to take them. And uh, imagine getting to an event and having to throw away 41. Well, that's exactly what I did at the last boot camp personally, personally. Uh, to save the manual, I took all the guts out and threw them away. What a waste of of money and time. How about name badges? Yeah, we got a stack of main, name badges there. And um, and then all of a sudden, at the end of the day, after we make sure we get everybody's name spelled right, we double check, we put them in plastic holders, we buy lanyards so people can wear them around their neck. Uh, and um, we have them in plastic so we can put a, a little coupon in there, a ticket to where uh, we give away free stuff at the event and they got tickets to do that. Well, imagine all the name badges I had left over that we had, to, you know, we wanted to save the lanyards and the plastic uh, cover and we got to take everybody's name back out, throw, throw the paper away that we wasted, we typed and printed and all that. Uh, we put together multiple rosters uh, with student names on that uh, I use and the back table uses on uh, uh, folks that are, are there so we know who's in attendance. Uh, our expectations are the fact that we're going to have a, a dynamite boot camp, and we always do. I have great boot camps, but, you know, it, it leaves a hole if if a huge chunk of people don't don't show up that we aren't expecting. And guest speakers, you know, they're uh, a lot of times shipping in product. They're flying in every time. Uh, and uh, uh, they have expectations, too, that they're, they're going to get the uh, teach to a big group of people, and, and here uh, I'm embarrassed because the headcount is not what I told them it was going to be based on the numbers that I got. And then we also create additional materials, other stuff, other than the manuals, other than the name badges that uh, that we need to take to the event uh, to give to you, to give give to you, you, you on on helping you out. And here all of a sudden we, we created... In the last case, 41 extra uh, items that we didn't need. And then seating. What you might not recognize is when you walk into a conference room, uh, we have sent the hotel a layout. We have given them the number based on the number of folks signed up. And they will put in uh, tables and chairs to accommodate everybody. And then uh, the morning of the event, uh, many of those tables are having to take back down, wasted, you know, seats put back up. Uh, so I don't have an echo chamber in the room. And uh, the room size, you know, I, I get a room based on the size of, of the head count. So uh, there's a lot of cost in this. Um, 
so I, I started to ask some other uh, trainers what they're doing and, and what other folks are doing is they char charge a seat reservation that is refundable, that is given back to you when you do what you say, when you show up. So um, it's uh, $97 seat reservation fee and it'll be returned when you come to the event. Uh, or if you cancel up to, if you say yes and then you cancel 48 hours in advance, then I can avoid some of that pain on putting together name badges, on putting together manuals, on setting up the seats and getting the hotel in there. And we're in there into the night setting up those seats. And so uh, I, I resisted this. I didn't want to do it, but I don't know what else to do. Uh, you know, you're, uh, I have to do this because of, of folks uh, saying yes and then not showing up. And uh, so I... Love to have you show up. I want you there. And I'm not going to keep your money. I'm going to give it back to you. Uh, if you let me know 48 hours in advance of the start of the boot camp or, uh, or show up at the event, give it back to you. So um, come to the event. It's a great event. You'll love it. Uh, your, your $97 is to protect uh, me and, and my events. And I'm not the only one doing it. So just... Uh, Go out there and sign up right now, https colon forward slash forward slash my name, Alan Cowgill dot com forward slash WTGTM3. Where to get the money. That's what those letters stand for. So where to get the money. Uh, what will happen is uh, you can sign up, uh, pay the 97 bucks. It's refundable. You'll get redirected to a, uh, another page uh, that has all the information about the event. So... I'm looking forward to seeing you. I just wanted to explain why this uh, uh, is being implemented, and uh, it's obviously not to hurt anybody. It's to, it's to protect us because other people have not been fair with me. To your wealth.